Yeah. Yep. Does it scream construction? I think it does. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasia, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome in. I'm so excited to have you here, and I'm also really excited for today's video because as promised, we are doing a let's play. Um, I'm really, it's really coming down to the wire with getting this island done. There's only a few areas that are left to do. Um, so for those of you who are new, this is my island Pop-Tart. It is my construction town core island. A lot of construction zones are throughout this island and we are going to be working on a few areas, maybe one or two, depending on how long it takes me today. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So before we get into it, I would really greatly appreciate if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you guys join this little community that we are building here. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so as I mentioned, today we're doing a let's play. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to go about this today. I figured I would show you the zones that I'm considering working on. So here we have our first little another construction area. I'm thinking of either doing an apartment building that's in the works with maybe some dirt sections on the side. And over here I have another little green patch area. This may also be another let's play because it's not that big of an area. I might do something a little more natural over here because my campsite is down there in the corner. And then across this bridge, we have another lookout area. This I'm really excited to work on. Also, I'm planning on doing some kind of deforestation moment <laughs> in this area. Um, so a bunch of cut down trees, which I know it's pretty sad, but I feel like it's very realistic if people are clearing land to build up new communities and buildings. So. I think that would work really well on this island, so I'm planning on doing that as well. And then up here I have to the right another like little area which I can kind of get a little sneak peek of it, but I'll show you that later on. Um, up here I have another open section, pretty small, so I'm not really sure what I'll do here just yet. And then we have this section over here. So those are the three main areas that I'm considering building in today. I'm thinking of doing the apartment building just because I'm kind of in the mood to do a more structured build right now. So yeah, and a little disclaimer before we get started, I am sitting by a window. So if you happen to hear any cars or noise going on in the background, that's what's happening. So <laughs> this is live. I am recording this as I'm talking. So yeah, let's just get started. I think we are going to do the um, apartment building here. So yeah, I guess, okay, I'm really bad at like narrating what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I can usually do voiceovers, but um, this is gonna be different. <laughs> okay, normally I usually start off with my terraforming. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm thinking of, let's see, I have this road here. So I might want to do either another road right here, but I also really like the dirt. Um, but let's just start by laying out this building. I might cut some of this terraforming out just because, I don't know, it's not that exciting, but I will make sure to show my whole process of what I do. So yeah, but as I'm doing this, I guess in the beginning, how are you all doing? How I'd love to know what you guys are up to on your islands, what themes you're working on. I always love reading what people are up to. It's so fun, so fun. So yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you're doing hard mode, I know a lot of people have done hard mode or are currently working on hard mode. Um, personally, I don't think I could do it. Not because I don't have the patience, but mainly because my favorite part of this game is designing. And I feel like hard mode is so hard. 
and <laughs> restricting on how you can get items and um that's my favorite part. So I probably wouldn't do hard mode. I actually had come up with a concept similar to hard mode, but I don't know if I will be doing it anytime soon, but it's pretty much um, themed around the idea of the game controls my island. I think that would be so fun. So pretty much everything that I would do is controlled by the game and anything that the game can't choose for me I would ask you guys and you would choose and I would put up a poll or votes or on my, on my Instagram or even on my community tab would you guys be interested in that definitely let me know I feel like it'd be a very fun and interactive island theme and I don't know <laughs> I'm kind of like anxious to do it but at the same time I think it would be a challenge and fun um so yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, okay, so here we have a good layout so far. This is kind of small for an apartment. Um, hmm. I do think I want it three layers tall, or at least two. So let's see, we'll just work with this for now and kind of edit it as we go. So I don't really know how I want to go about the pathing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just start on the building itself. So I do have a few simple panels here. So let's go ahead and get some of those out. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and place some of these down here. I'm thinking I want um, the simple panels with a more like cutesy window seal design to be on the bottom and then we can add the more simple ones towards the top. So I think I want to add some um, green in front of these buildings also just to block this window a little bit like that. Okay that's already looking kind of cute. Okay I'm really liking it so far. And I am really wanting to do, I have, this is one of my favorite things to do with buildings. They're so fun. Um, is when you place the stair dresser as like stairs that lead up to an apartment. And I think it's so fun to do. So let's try this out. And I might have to get a door design as well. Actually, okay. I think I want to place, I picked up some medieval building sides as well, so I think I want to place that down behind these simple panels. Okay, but I think that looks pretty nice actually. And it flows, and when you look up you'll see it. I might actually have to move this building back a space because I do want to put some construction items in front of this building. Like some cones, maybe a, uh, I have a lamppost. This is usually how my building des design goes. I kind of just place items that I want to get a general idea of how this will turn out. And then I kind of manipulate the um, terraforming and work around everything. Actually, okay, wait. <laughs> this is what happens all the time. I also got these brick countertops I, I don't remember yeah the counter tables i think i might place that instead of the medieval building side just to give myself more room for in front of this building and i think they'll blend very very nicely okay yes i really like the look of that and then i can also place more items on top of there as well so that will work out perfectly I honestly love making buildings and this is making me really excited for my next island theme which I won't I won't really announce until I finish this island but it is another island that's kind of involving a lot of buildings so I'm really excited for that one. Okay this is looking really good so far so we have this base I'm not sure what the if I should continue um, more windows down here because I do want a door situation. Hmm. Hi friends. So this is editing Tasia, <laughs> And that's because I decided to voice over this bit and speed it up because it's literally 8 to 10 minutes of me just moving around these simple panels and other items. And that's no fun for anyone watching live. So 
<laughs> I decided to speed this part up and um, yeah, but I did want to leave it in to show you what I was doing in my process. So yeah, but anyways, I'm moving around these simple panels and I really tried making this middle curtain simple panel work, but it, for some reason I it just didn't look right. Maybe I needed one more next to it for it to look right, but I didn't like it, so I ended up moving that. And um, I also wanted to place a door at the top of these stairs. The stairs will eventually actually move to the middle of the building instead of the side. So I tried that one brown door and I didn't like it. It was too much brown. So then I tried this blue one and it looks much better. <laughs> and then I'm kind of just, once again, moving things all around. So like I said, this is a very long clip. But anyways, this clip's about to end, so I'm going to send you back over to past me, and you're definitely going to hear the more echoey sounding audio, which, once again, I apologize. <laughs> okay, actually, that looks so much better. I like that a lot. Okay. That looks really good. So we're just going to have those windows there. Let's see what this curtain will look like on this side. Or even, let's see what it looks like behind this door here. Mm. No. <laughs> no, that does not look right. Okay, we're gonna find something to place behind this door. But for now, I think I have to make a run to recent Cyrus. So let's go ahead and do that so we can customize these simple panels. And I might have to order another one of these plant partitions. I'm not sure if I have another one. But I'm really liking how it's looking so far. I'm honestly so excited to get this theme done and move on to my next theme because I think it's going to be really, really fun. And yeah, I always just like get excited as I'm building a theme and I get excited for like the next theme that I have <laughs> and when I'm not even complete with what I'm currently working on. Do you guys do that? Do you like... And when that happens, are you just tempted to just not finish your island? <laughs> Because I'm really, I, I just get so excited at um, new theme ideas, which I've been considering doing a series um, on the channel, and I think it would be really fun because I know some people struggle with coming up with island themes or they're not sure what they want to do with their island. I think it would be fun for me to do a series of showing you my process and how I come up with island themes and how I pick my codes and all that behind the scenes process before actually starting an island. Um, and I could possibly come up with new unique themes for you guys to try. I think that would be a really fun series. So also let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. Also Leaf is here. I might as well pick up some bushes and shrubs from him. Um, but yeah, I think that would be really, really fun. And I might do that before I actually start my next island. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely let me know down below and I can for sure do that. I think I might do it anyways, to be honest. <laughs> I might try out one video like that and see how it goes and how it performs on the channel. But yeah, I think that'll be really fun because that's honestly some of my favorite parts about starting a new island is just coming up with a new theme. And I have a few ideas as well. So yeah, let me know you guys if you'd be interested in seeing that. Okay, so now I have a few, let's see, white simple panels, but these need to be brown. Also, oh my goodness, I didn't even talk about this before, but you may have noticed <laughs> I'm like 20 minutes into this video already and I haven't even mentioned it, but um, you may have noticed my intro and profile picture is new and different. I actually designed that myself and I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's so cute. Um, so we did a little rebranding on the channel. It's been a minute since I've posted a video, so 
it, it's been up there for a while, but this is probably the first video where you guys are going to see it. Um, so yeah, a little new rebranding for the channel. Anyways, um, okay, so we're back here on the island. Let's go ahead and try out um, a similar layout over here on the left side of this building. I do really like this curtain design, but I feel like it just... I don't know, I'll have to make it work elsewhere, I think. Okay, so we have that on the bottom. Okay, hmm, there is kind of a lot going on in the front here, so I may have to block something like I did with the plants over here. I may have to find something to go in front of there, but it's actually looking pretty good so far. It is wider than I was wanting it to be. Preferably it would be like a four wide building, but that's okay, unless I do make it a four wide building. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that and see what it would look like. See, I think that just looks so much better as like a four wide building. I like it so much more. Hmm, okay. Also, ignore that fossil up there. <laughs> I forgot to take it down. Um, okay. You know, I'm kind of liking it, but I think this would look better if this was in front of the window. And that also might help with the problem of it being too repetitive on the bottom. Um, let's see. I think I have another one of these that might look good on the side of this one. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty cool. I think that looks really nice. Okay, I like that a lot. So we're gonna keep that in that scenario and then leave our building a four wide building. And it saves us some space over here on the side. So this is coming together pretty well. Uh, so I do wanna place that air conditioning up there. We're gonna need to put our door back. And I do really like this curtain up here. So. I'm thinking I'm liking it. So once I usually get to this point, I kind of, this is when I start placing all my patterns down on the cliff and um, anything else that's gonna be permanent because I do like how it's looking. So I'm going to place the air conditioning up here if I can do that. And I think I actually might just take all this down so I can start placing pathing underneath everything. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I've kind of been messing around with this building for a bit and I decided that I kind of like this bunk bed over here behind um, this side of the building. And since it's pretty much flush with the other medieval building side over here, I think I might get um, two castle towers that are customized in this variation and place them behind here so then it'll be all cohesive across the top and uh yeah but also as i was placing some of these items back down i realized that the air conditioning the air conditioner can't sit on top of another item uh and i thought that would have been so cute to place that up there like what but no i can't do that <laughs> um I wonder if I could place it anywhere else. That makes me so sad. I thought I could really place it on top of there. Oh well, that's okay. Um, but yeah, okay, I think that's the plan. And then we're going to fix this bottom part down here. And I'm really liking how this building looks. Uh, yeah, it actually is coming across really well as my initial vision for this building. Um, okay, so we're gonna place this back here. I think I do still need to finish placing some more pattern on the bottom of that top cliff up there, but 
Here's the building. And that looks pretty good. And now just envisions two castle towers behind there to finish off the top. And that will be the apartment. I don't have them at the moment, but I will get them eventually and place them up there. Uh, but let's move on to the front of this um, building in the side. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how I wanna go about this. I think throughout the island, I only have like two sections that have big dirt piles. Um, as part of the build. So I kind of want to do some more because I think it looks so cool and that would fill in some space over there. But I also want to make sure that you can access this incline over here. And I'm not exactly sure what to put back here either. We'll have to figure that out in the future. I think I want to add like a trash can somewhere in this area to blend it in with this gum gump <laughs> dump over here on the side of this area so i'm thinking that can either go on this side of the building i also need to figure out well actually i guess this side doesn't really need anything on the side of the cliff because it is like blocked off by more trees so i think that should be okay but anyways what i was originally going to do is i think i want to do another road that goes across but i want it to look like they're paving the road um i've done this probably once or twice throughout the island but i think it's such a cute idea <laughs> so we're gonna do that again so i'm gonna just place down a little road here and i forget the name of the um vehicle that i used but i will place that over here in this little area to make it look like it's paving the road and it's not completely finished um, I think that'd be super cute and let's see I think I'll make this the grass pattern on the edges even though it shouldn't probably have grass and be run down when they're newly painting the path but it's okay it's okay <laughs> it's animal crossing and I think it's all right for this area Okay, so um, here's the road and I placed a few cones and a few more details on the side of the building and um, we're now we're going to work on this area over here. Like I said, I kind of want to do like a pile of dirt once again <laughs> in another build because I just think it's so cool. And what other island theme will I be able to do that? So I think that's what we're going to do. I also ordered two, well actually ordered three steamrollers, um, which I probably don't need, but it's fine. <laughs> and we're gonna place one of those here, and yeah, I don't really know what else to do in this section besides the dirt, so we're just gonna do that, and it'll fill up some space. Also, we need to finish off this cliff over here on the left, um, and I think I'll just put some of these on the side. I also really wanted to use this garden bench, so let's see if I can make that work as well. Do I have more dormant volcanoes is the real question. I think, okay, great, I do have some more. So we're gonna get these. Um, maybe this could look cool in the area as well. I think that should be good for now, so. Let's place this here because this will take up some space. So we're going to place these on the sides of this building. Like so. This could fill in some space very nicely if we put two side by side over here. I wish like when you customize these um, transportation stops that this part of it will be customized. I think it's only the back part that gets customized, but I wish it was also the side because sometimes it just doesn't fit in. Okay, actually that looks really good over there. Um, 
And I don't think it's too busy looking and it kind of blends in well with what's going on over here. So now we are going to start piling up some dirt. Um, picking up these bells. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about, you guys. I, I really should have come up with some topics of what I could discuss in this Let's Play in between these little bits when I'm just trying stuff out, but I don't know. Is there anything exciting going on with you guys? Anything exciting you're looking forward to? Let me know. I'd love to read. I Something exciting for me is I recently celebrated my 21st um, birthday, so... That was fun and I had a good time. Uh, yeah, that was something fun that happened. And also another reason why I haven't really had time to film is just life things going on. Okay, this looks kind of good so far. I wonder if I should put like another pile like on top of a second layer cliff. I'm really liking how this is looking. Um, Let's try it. Let's see what that would look like if I put another dormant volcano up here because this section I kind of left space because I thought I was going to be doing some more buildings but I didn't end up doing that so we're going to see if this will look good over here and curve this edge. I'll probably need to put a vine up there just to fill in that little green patch down there. And I think I will need to go to a treasure island and uh, get some termite mounds just to change it up from the dormant volcanoes. Ooh, you know, actually, actually, <laughs> I think I like it. Like sometimes less is more, you know? And I think this is one of th those scenarios. So we're just gonna, I don't know. I might change my mind later on, but I kind of like it like this. And do I have any more of those? I do have wheat fields, just not in my pockets. Okay. And I wonder if I should put the safety bar barrier on this edge. Yeah. I think that'll work. I think the building was the most difficult part of this whole thing. And once I have like a foundation, I kind of just zoom through all the surrounding decor areas. What else can I put here? I have these stacked bags. Let's see, just another detail to go somewhere. Make it look more like a construction zone. I think I should also add some fencing in here, more rope fencing. I think that might look nice as well. I think it would look kind of weird if I put the garden bench here, but I really do want to use it somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, and then this cliff I'm thinking can just stay like a natural kind of looking cliff because it blends in with the dirt a bit and I'll have to go all the way around. <laughs> but that looks good. Th oh, oh, okay. I'm really gonna have to go all the way around. This island theme is honest. It's been so much fun. I have had a really fun time with this one because I never ever use any of these items like the construction things and more of the rundown items and it's been so much fun so even if you just do like a little build on your island like if you have a city core or a town core anything where you have like a structured area try out a construction zone it's super fun and it like adds a little I don't know, <laughs> a little something to your builds. Oh, you know what I originally wanted to do? I wanted to have um, a little Lloyd sitting somewhere in this build. But I don't think I'll have any more space. Like I wanted to have like an unfinished bridge. I think I've used up all my inclined spaces, so it would have to be a bridge. And I really wanted that to be a part of this build somewhere. Hmm. Okay, we might have to get a little creative with this. If I can fill in some water here, that would work. And can you still go through here? Not really. I'll push that back and put that there. Also, yeah, if you didn't know, if you like press volcanoes, they do erupt. Um, 
Of course, it's not doing it now that I want it to, but you know, it does that. <laughs> These are such big items. I always underestimate how big they are. So if I place it this way, let's see. We're just gonna have to experiment here. Oh, that actually might get rid of my tree. Okay, here we <laughs> we're gonna have to take this down, fix this, and move it back a space, I think, so that it does not destroy my tree. Also, that could be a little fun, like a little water moment. <laughs> Hopefully Lloyd will be over here on this corner and not over here behind this wheat field, but we'll see what happens. Okay, wait, I actually do kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. And you can still see some dirt back there. You can come back here. Maybe I'll put this third volcano up on that cliff. It'd be really cool if I could have a waterfall in between those two volcanoes. Let's see if I could make that work. Because then it would fit into this little pond that we have in the middle of the dirt section. So maybe I'll put like a little ladder right here that um, is connected to the cliff. Okay, wow, I think that actually looks really good. I do like this. I like it a lot. And it's different from all of my other construction areas. And then we'll have Lloyd right here in the corner. How cute would that be? I really, really like this. Okay, let's come up here and see what this view is. Yeah. Yep. Does it scream construction? I think it does. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead, I think, and get a bridge. Let me count how many bridges I have really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. We have one more space. So that works out. All right, Tom, we're going to need a bridge. We're probably just going to go for the cheapest one because it doesn't really matter. And I also really want to do this for like a building and have it look like as if someone was moving to a different section. I just don't know where to make that um, on the island. I might do that in that very small space that I showed towards the beginning of the video because I think it would fit in really nicely right there. Okay, yes please, we're gonna get this log bridge and we're gonna place it down. Do you guys use up all of your like inclines and bridges on your islands? I feel like I always use all 10 and I'm so glad that they added that in the update because I used to struggle <laughs> with trying to use only eight bridges and inclines on my islands. I always needed at least one or two more. So I'm really glad that they increased it to 10 and we get to do that now. Okay, so let's go ahead and place this here see what this looks like hopefully it doesn't take up space on the edges i don't think it should let me imagine it okay good it doesn't destroy anything that i already have and even if i did have that bridge here that would be kind of cute oh my goodness okay here's lloyd here he is this fence is kind of blocking him so i do have to tear that down Oh, I feel like I want it still to be here. So maybe I'll put it behind this sign, not signpost, this lamppost. And well, let me place this wheat field first. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. I did like it in the front, but I think I like the fence there more. So we're just gonna leave it like that, it's okay. And here's Lloyd, he has his own little space on the island. How cute. <laughs> I could not do this for this island, you know? Like, it, it was pretty much required that I have a Lloyd on this island forever. And I did really want to have a steamroller here, but it might take up too much space. I'm not exactly sure. Um... Okay, and then you can come back here. I don't think I'll put much else. Maybe I'll put one or two termite mounds back here when I get them. Maybe one of those ladders over here. 
and I'll fill in this space some other time because I haven't exactly decided unless I put some bikes back here. Let's see what I have in my storage shed and see what we can put together. <laughs> oh, maybe actually I've been meaning to make a craft section on my island because I feel like that would fit perfectly and I still have not done that. So I think that's what I can do this area for. I'll make a craft section. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I literally just thought of that on the spot right now. <laughs> um, I do have a few craft tables, so maybe I can get this spray can. That's kind of crafty in these materials. Maybe another wheat field. You can never go wrong with wheat fields, to be honest. Then maybe this pink box to add some color. What else can I use? Maybe some of these boxes. Okay, so I have this workbench. I think this one is my favorite, the ironwood workbench. Maybe I could grab a sink for some reason. <laughs> and this fence, I think, will look really nice as well. Oh, we have a okay. We have a tool shelf and a tool cart that should definitely work. Um, and I think maybe a vintage stool to sit down and do your work. Okay, so let's go ahead and place our fence down first behind our table to give it a little backdrop. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can place our ironwood DIY workbench. I think that's so cute. I love this workbench. It, like, it just has like a map of plans and everything. It's so cute. Okay, what else can we put here? Um, these boxes, that looks good. Yeah. I feel like this is a good example of like a filler area that you could do, just like a little craft section. I think it's pretty fun. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to put too many things here because it might take up... I don't want to clutter it too much. So let's place these cords here. I think that could look kind of cool. Maybe they're making some kind of electronic thing. And honestly, that might be it because it's behind this building. So there really doesn't have to be too much going on back here. Um, Cause the things on top of this cliff kind of block this view. So as long as it's like slightly filled in, I think that's good. It's I, So I only used like five items here and it's already like a nice filler spot, I think. I think that this is a good start for what we have so far. Also, you can't even see that waterfall that I placed. <laughs> That's okay. You can see it as you're walking by. Um, so I do need to place one more thing up here and then I think that will be done. I really like this tool shelf. I do want to use this somewhere unless I can place it back here. Is that too much going on in this area? It kind of looks like a tool shed, this little side area. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll put a pile of green leaves right here just to fill in the bottom, but not like block your walkway as you're walking by. Oh, and then we forgot our little stool here. Let's see if I can get it in the middle. Cute. I don't know if I like this cone after all. <laughs> I don't know if I like the cone. Maybe I'll put the office materials. There we go. That's really cute. So we have our little DIY section over here. That's so nice. I did like the look of this um, rope fence, however. So I think I will place the tool shelf back here and then place the um, fence in front of it. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a good start to some kind of DIY section. And like I said, I'll probably place a pile of green leaves because I just can't help myself. I always have to like fill in empty space. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna put too many things here because I don't wanna clutter it too much. And then I will put some termite mounds here, which I don't have at the moment. I need to order a few more, um, or not a few more, but I need to order the 
castle towers to go up there. And then I may or may not put a steamroller here depending on if you can walk by. But if not, maybe I'll just place this here for now. On the other end of the road, where'd it go? There it is. Just to like show that it's a work in progress. And there we have it. Okay, this is our little apartment street and maybe a new neighborhood's being built here and it's in the works. I think this turned out really well. I, I'm i pretty proud of it and literally just something that I came up with today. So there we go. Okay, now just imagine all those little details that I had mentioned before that I still need to fill in and this area will be complete. Wow, okay, thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope this was entertaining. I hope this is what you guys were hoping for when I mentioned the Let's Play. Um, and you got to see a little bit of my building process live, so I thought that was really fun. I had a fun time doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to see more videos from me. I hope you all have a lovely day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!